the creation of humanity, the creation of you and me, our DNA genetically engineered by the human gods in Sumeria in summer, summer, the Annaki, right, the Annaki. Anyway, according to Sumerian mythology, as you can check out in the ancient texts, which you see all the translations on the internet and stuff, it's claimed that human-like gods, human-like gods, uh, ruled over Earth. So when they came to this Earth, which is a crater in the end, which they exploited, but for many people, the Earth is a globe. But that's their problem. Um, so they arrived here and there was much work to be done and these gods they toiled the soil they digging it to make it like habitable and stuff and mining the minerals it was a lot of work it's that's in the in the texts of the of the epics and everything it says when the gods like men bore the work and suffered the toll the toil of the gods was great the work was heavy the distress was much so they worked physically just like you and me work if you go to the field and stuff so anu or Anu, the god of gods. It's always like god with uh, with a minor G, right? And interesting. So a Anu who was like the commander, the supreme commander. By the way, when if you check the series The Hundred, lots of these things like uh, they're really well said there. So yeah, Anu agreed that their labor was too great. So Anu had a son called Enki or Ea, and he was actually his half um, half son because it was with a female. Uh, a different female, so not his wife. And Anu proposed to create a man to bear the labor of the gods, of the human gods. And so with the help of his half-sister half Ninki, they went to the lab, because everything is made with technology and within a lab. It's no hocus-pocus, abracadabra, it's genetically engineered. And they did. They A god was put to death, so I guess they killed somebody of their own people who had uh, that type of body and that body and blood of one of those gods was mixed with clay and from that material the first human being was created in likeness of the gods the same that we see in genesis in the end genesis is just a copy of uh, and the bible just a copy said so there you have slaughtered the gods together right so that's awesome and then we're just continuing the first man was created in eden and eden is a sumerian word which means flat terrain ah flat earth right crater earth anyway in the epic of gilgamesh eden is mentioned as the garden of, of the gods and it's located somewhere between uh, tigris and euphrates rivers in mesopotamia which is today's iraq which was invaded by the usa anyway stuff like that so sumerian tablet depicting enki the creation myth as you all know by now but initially that human being or the, the, these human beings were unable to reproduce on their own so no uh you know no action in bed so uh, they were later modified with the help of enki and inki so they went in the lab again and they genetically engineered again and they created adapa who was created as a fully functional and independent human being so now the human gods were like so happy because they didn't have to create humans all over again like they do in the tunnels today with the clones and adapa having the the ability i guess of course they, he had like a the an eve right so men and women so they were left alone to multiply like rabbits and also they were given like domesticated animals like pigs and chickens and stuff like that to be able to work and have food so to administer themselves but this genetical modification was done without the approval of Enki's brother who was Enlil and Enlil as far as I can understand he was the son of Anu with his wife uh, so a conflict between them uh, began and Enlil became the adversary of man and that's where our stories of the Bible came come from like God versus Satan and stuff like that and the Sumerian tablet um, mentions that uh, the men served gods and went through very lots of suffering and hardship and Adapa at some point Adapa I guess is I mean Adam I guess is the equivalent of Adapa so uh, the, the whole thing with Sumerian stuff was adapted uh, I mean, the Bible was adapted from that. So Adapa, with the help of Enki, ascended to Anu, where he failed to answer the question about the bread and water of life. So I don't know what question that was that Anu was asking Adapa. The bread, uh, probably he said, like, what's the, the bread and water of life? And he failed. So we don't know what happened after that. Anyway, opinions vary on these similarities and all that stuff with the Bible and things. But I guess, you know, in the end, people, they, they just want to be attached to a certain religion that gives them hope to their frustration. So like each one of us, you know, has their free will in this uh, prison to do what they wish as indoctrinated sheep. So we'll see each other in the next video. Take care. Level of artistry 
not done with uh, hammer and chisel but done with technology and india is one of the cases as well as america and europe and as you know this world was reset we are a new humanity we probably have like 200 years old more or less and before us there was a world empire one language one humanity which was reset and of course we have particular stuff in india in russia in america in australia africa was pretty much destroyed uh, but yeah, even though uh, just like the purpose of this video is to actually say, well, these buildings in India were not built um, centuries ago with raw technology, with raw like uh, chisel and hammer. They were built, built with technology um, using lasers and 3D printers and stuff like that. So it was some kind of different humanity. Uh, our ancestors was not were not our ancestors. They were different, probably with a different DNA altogether or maybe they were like the creators of our dna who knows and uh, these things like in the temples the so-called temples brackets there was no such thing as temples like the same thing that churches are not churches they were power stations to use the energy the free electromagnetic energy of the ether uh, which is all around us and it's actually forbidden by law in the states there was a law in 1920 which forbid to actually use the free power of energy like the free power of water and the wind and solar power and electromagnetic power it's forbidden um, because um, if it wasn't like if it was free then you would not have to pay money and taxes and that's a problem for those who govern so yeah um, there you go this is uh, again the detail the level of detail it's amazing it's awesome it's everywhere in the world uh, everywhere which is not like which is left still because many of them were destroyed this is like the sword of maharana pratap weighs 50 kilograms uh, i know about you but 50 kilograms for one single person like you and me is very heavy to actually have a sword so it's un not practical but it would be practical if the person wielding this uh, using this would be a giant and that would be really practical and if the, if it's a giant then means giants had the capacity and the technology and they were intelligent so yeah they're like way more than us and then you have these things here of course with particular like ways of building with it again um today we can do this or we could do it i guess with 3d printers and lasers and stuff maybe who knows um and then back in the day who did this right they, they, they just did it because it was an order from the empire or from the king or from the from the high priest to build something for what for like a divine divinity and then you have like statues using tablets and smartphones Again, these are not like um, um, like our arch architects and engineers and historians. They would say, "Oh, it's they're clay tablets." No, they're not. They're smartphones and PCs and stuff. But I guess that's too much, of course. For uh, no, this is not the first time. I mean, ancient aliens and all that stuff. But then when they go into this thing and then they like mix uh, lots of lies with truths, and then people don't know what to believe anymore because that's the whole purpose of things, right? So yeah these doors are quite amazing and the way you actually make these doors again with technology with lasers with some kind of like very very high advanced technology which we do not have access to or like maybe today you could do this with i'm not sure what technology they have today i guess with lasers today and with uh, proper um computing technology you could uh, do something like this uh, high heels western invention like question mark 850 years old sculpture in india and the temple again temples are not temples and these ropes here like um the way uh, this is like also in europe and america so it's it's impossible to actually represent rope and stone uh, building it i mean with hammer and, and chisel and chisel so yeah um, and the arab countries are also full of this but lots of like ruins right now many of the countries had wars and destroyed all these ruins so yeah there you go uh next episode more of india because like you know in india there's really some intelligent people in india who know all this so they're like way more advanced than what you can who you can speak with with your like uh, neighbors in the western countries and stuff and some of them are actually very open-minded with all this stuff with i mean they have the vedas and the vimanas and they know about the 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 wars of the gods and technology and all that stuff so for them it's just like everyday bread and butter right but for us you speak this with people in the western world and they look at you as if you're like some kind of like nuts so yeah there you go um i'll see you in, i'll see you in the next video